What was formerly known as CATV in the Upper Valley has a new name, JAM, Junction Arts and Media. NBC5's John Hawks checked in with the team today at their new space in downtown White River Junction. Out with the old and in with the new, CATV is now JAM, Junction Arts and Media, the nonprofit taking over space in the old Newbury Market, helping people create in a few different mediums. We've really seen um, an explosion of changes in the last couple of years, emerging out of the pandemic, innovating in new media spaces with hybrid events, podcasting, and we've really discovered that um, our name was tied to our origins as a television channel. Their channels have changed to 1075 and 1085 on Comcast, or 169 and 170 on VTEL, still offering government meetings and community events. And they can also be found on their website and YouTube channels, with the hope that independent voices will influence the community for the positive. There's a lot of fear about the divisive effect of media. We want to use media across platforms to bring people together and to show the positive potential of creativity in the media arts. Their focus on education hasn't gone away. Middle school age students continue to learn ever more important multimedia skills. Just this last summer we had a music uh, video creation camp, we had a journalism camp, we had a studio production camp, an animation camp. Okay, this is our other group of entrepreneurs. We have um, more structured learning opportunities with Media Labs, which will start in October with a series focused on camera. Um, we have a weekend intensive on directing the actor and camera. Um, and then each month we have different themes that give people a chance to return and explore another dimension of media production. The best way to get involved is to walk into their new space. You can ask questions, check out their free roaming video equipment, and start creating. We're trying to move a little bit more to a catch your own fish sort of a scenario more than, because in the past, a lot of my job was someone would just say, this is what I want to do, and I would do, you know, 90% of the work for them, and they would sit in front of the camera and look pretty and be charismatic and be like, I made a TV show. In White River Junction, 